In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own Instagram widget inside of Elementor Page Builder. So the first step is to create your layout using HTML and CSS. In this case, I'm also using JavaScript since I want this Instagram widget to also be sort of an Instagram gallery. And I created some jQuery that's selecting the big image once you click on any of the small ones. Cool, so I have this set up and the next thing is to go inside of WordPress. Inside of WordPress you need to make sure you have unlimited elements installed. It's free to use from the WP repository. Next thing you're going to want to navigate to the category you're adding the new widget to. In this case I'm in Instagram widgets and some of these are free so you can already use them without needing to create your own. If you want you can upgrade to the pro version and all of these other skins will be unlocked. Next thing we're going to want to do is to click add widget and add our new custom Instagram widget. So I'm gonna give it a name my Instagram my Instagram and I'm gonna click add widget. I've added it over here double click to enter the framework and start editing. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to the HTML tab. I'm gonna copy the HTML and this we can close and I'm gonna paste that. Great, so I've pasted my HTML. Next thing I'm going to take the CSS. Copy and paste and next thing I'm going to take some of my JavaScript and I'm going to paste that in the JavaScript tab. Now since I'm using jQuery I'm going to need to enable jQuery. We enable JavaScript libraries or CSS libraries in the JSCSS includes tab. Over here I'm just going to mark that and it is going to load on the page. Great, I'm gonna click update to save and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attributes. In attributes I'm going to add an attribute that's going to be called Instagram and I can set over here any max number of items between 1 to 12. Let's go for the maximum number and I'm going to click add attribute. Once we've added this and we go back into the HTML tab, over here on the side we will see a new section called Instagram. If we open it, it shows all the fields the API is pulling from Instagram and we can use any one of them and inject them inside of the HTML. So over here on the top I'm going to take the Instagram username over here in the description I'm gonna take the biography and these are the thumbnails now thumbnails are items and right now we have three items but we don't really know how many items there are going to be so I need to cut these out insert inside and instead of this put items and down we scroll paste back the items I'm gonna leave only one since this is like sort of a repeater field it's gonna repeat itself and in the image URL I'm gonna replace that with a Instagram image Let's see over here where we have an image. We can use or thumbnail or image. Let's go for image this time. Great, so we've injected that instead of the static HTML. And I think we got everything set up and we can test this. So before testing, of course, you need to save. Great, and we're going to pages. Inside of pages, add new. Edit with Elementor. and we can search for Instagram. 
Great, we got this Instagram. And I'm going to drag this widget we've just created, and hopefully it will work. Wow. Perfect. This is perfect. Great. So now we can also change the username. And this will connect to the API live. And it's going to take all of the images and put them inside of our design. This is looking great, really. So that was a quick tutorial of how to create your own Instagram widget. We got a bunch of tutorials on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe for more updates and more cool stuff that we're planning to do. And if you have any comments, please comment them. And please, 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 please give us your feedback. And any feature requests are welcome. Have a great weekend. We're already in the weekend. So have a great weekend and see you next time.